hello friends welcome in this lecture we'll be understanding the concept of tds that is tax deduction at source so what what is tds as per income tax act any company or person making a payment is required to deduct tds at the source at the time if the payment exceeds certain threshold limit so a person has to deduct the tds at the time when he is making the payment and the government has specified and certain threshold limits that every individual or every resident of india has to follow tds has to be deducted at the rate prescribed by the tax department income tax department and the chart of that rate that prescribe nature of payment that a person is making now apart from depositing the tax the deductor of tds should also file a tds return and the tds return is furnished quarterly it is presented in the form of statement in income tax department it is mandatory for deductors to submit tds return on time if a deductor does not submit the tds quarterly returns on time then the government imposes late fees or non filing fees on that deductor you can furnish the forms or your returns in the form of 24q 26q 27q as to understand the concept of tds see in normal cases if no tds is applicable what you generally do if max limited is providing bill consultancy services to abc limited of 40000 then what abc limited do abc limited gives the check or cash of 40000 rupees including the tax amount to max limited this is the normal nature of payment and the normal transaction we did but whenever and wherever the tds is applicable then how the transaction is passed and how the comment tax is deposited in this case abc limited has deposited the amount of service with tax amount to max and max will deposit comment the tax amount now in the case of tds max limited has provided bill consultancy services to abc limited for rupees 40000 now in the case of tds where tds is applicable abc limited will deduct the amount of tds from 40000 rupees that is 4000 and pay the balance amount of 36000 to max limited in the form of cash or check now the amount deducted by abc limited known as the tds amount has to be deposited to the government in the form of chalan and return so he has to deposit abc limited has to deposit then he has to furnish the chalans returns and have to have to deposit the tds amount in the government bank accounts so i hope you are clear with the concept of tds